Hey, yo, there's a stream. There's a man with a stream right down there, and he's got a poll on the chat. You can see it. I'm going to post it again. It's my stream. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. So, hey, -o, I'm becoming the React Andy that I was never born to be, chat. React Andy time! That's right, React Andrew, except for my name is Ted. And now we will begin the stream, chat. We will begin the stream. Oh, by the way, there is a poll. You can vote there. Boop! That's for my next big game. You have until Monday. So, Dominator. Dominator was a thing I came across thanks to Archangel Thunderbird, the most metal thing a 14-year-old in the early 2000s slash late 90s could have made, and it touched my soul and my heart, my cold, bitter stone of a heart, and I understood that I needed to see more of what these people have made, and I understood, Chet. I understand now, Chet. I'm Lord Dominator Pilled. Chat, you you cannot you cannot convince me that I am not Lord Dominator pilled. Is there a way to make this look specifically so that way I can show the chat? And, uh, one moment, Ted will do his best. One moment, big old fried breast. One moment, Transformers in disguise. Juan moment. It's just a guy named Juan. Please note that it's not. I'm, I'm trying not to be offensive here. Display capture. Display or complete. Audio source. Screen capture. Window. 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 Hmm. 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 Chat, one moment. I need six eggs, and that's too expensive. Okay, I'm just going to put it right there. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. That'll hopefully look a little less shit. Okay, we are now Lord Dominator pilled, chat. We will now become Lord Dominator pilled. Dominator will dominate us. Yes, it'll be so great. It'll be so great. It will be magical. You don't understand. Lord Dominator says he's changed. I swear. It'll be different this time. Okay, uh, I have the mute button. Let's go. Thames, Embark, London, England. Is this, is this, oh god. I expect every mute, oh. Oh! <laughs> Chat. I love it. I love this early... I love this early-ass CGI. Oh, it's beautiful, chat. I'm not I'm not being ironic. This is... I remember when shit like this was, like, super future awesome. I'm old enough to remember when shit like this was bleeding edge. So seeing this now... Can't you, you know, later on... Straight. I'm a trainee reporter, Miss Lynn. Not a makeup girl. You are a dog's body, Landra. Just do as you're told. A dog's body. Good afternoon, London. This is Good afternoon. Well, I'm, I'm in Land. America. I'm on the Thames Embankment, speaking to some ah, of the... Ah, homeless men. Harold Homeless Men, attorney at Homeless. And, uh, Holy shit! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's 10 out of 10 right there. Fucking comes in with a skull motorcycle, lasers, and lightning. Fucking metal as hell. Oh, yes! Heavy metal! Tell, reporting from the heart of London, where we are witnessing... Oh, yes, chat, don't... I, I don't care. This is beautiful. I love it. Chat, this is... I think, okay, from my understanding, from my vague understanding, from my vaguest understanding, this is actually, like, the first fully CGI film ever made in London, England. From my very understanding, Dominator. Time, Mr. Wolf. Who fucking cares? 
I love it. I'm not- I'm not being ironic- YES! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! A second demon has hit Big Ben, Your Majesty! Your Majesty, a second demon has hit Big Ben, Your Majesty! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness! No Big gracious! Gone. I don't believe Big Ben down! Yeah! Oh. If only this wasn't, you know, badass metal. I think I might get in trouble for showing this on Twitch with the, you know, the titty, the booba. Oh well, who cares? I I live like Lord Dominator, rock and roll metal. Yeah, kick her! Yeah, kick her, Lord Dominator! Fuck her up! Yes! Yes! Oh god, she's so wonderful in her design. I'm not, I'm, I'm not joking, chat. I'm not being, I'm not being an asshole. This is, this is the kind of unironic metal that I enjoy. Like, the older I get, the older I become, the older I get, the more I, I crave sincerity. And the more I crave, like, people being sincere about what they do. I may need to, Okay, Dominator. Whatever, this is gonna get copyright struck. It don't matter. It don't matter. None of this matters. I'll do it any- Oh, bananas! Oh, banana! 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 I don't think we can, uh... This is so metal. I love it. This is like an AVM of metal and greatness. I don't care if the stream gets me knocked down a peg. You see, the thing is, I need to live more like these people, honest in my opinions and honest in my uh, perpetuity. Yes, the secret government Buckingham Bucker Bunker English Ted, where the heavy metal lives. I can hear sirens. I think the police are on their way. Oh my! What the hell is happening here, Bishop? Uh, fucking metal is happening. Badass metal. We are watching what appears to be a badass metal video game from the PS2. Maybe PS1. Let's be honest, PS1 probably. Maybe late PS1. We'll take him back to Lord Desecrator. Live. Screw that. Desecrator only wants a key. Dominator is ours. Right, bro? Dead dragon A is. And the bastard spray in summer. Yes, Dominator! No, Lord Dominator! You're too cool for this shit! Yeah, get the key, Lord Dominator! Use the key, Lord Dominator! <laughs> I love it. Uh, yet again, I cannot help but be attracted to just this kind of sincerity in a world full of uh, just people who are so ironic and irony poisoned. Be like the people who make Lord Dominator and be this kind of sincere because you can't make art like this without being a, a, a sincere, you know? Art like this requires passion. Excuse me, uh, sir, could you tell me who you are and what's going on? I'm Duke Nukem, and I'm here to kick ass and chew gum. But I'm all out of gum. Sure. Right after you take your clothes off, babe. Yeah! <laughs> oh god, the 14 year old energy. Th two, two thumbs up for me. I I'm not joking. This kind of sincerity, this kind of just absolute sincerity that you just could not get anymore. People are too irony poisoned. <laughs> Look at the. Wait, we, we need to go back to the Half Life 2 goons. We need to go back to the Half Life 2 goons. You your job. Fucking Half Life 2 What's ass goons. Sure. Right up. His skulls are moving on his shoulders. You take your clothes off, babe. His skulls Ooh. are moving across his shoulders. Look at these Half Life 2 ass goons. Look at these Half Life 2 ass goons in their jeans and their big ass football uniforms. You can't tell me this isn't art. 
You cannot convince me that this here is not fucking art. I, I love you. I love the people who made this. I, you, this kind of sincerity, this kind of passion for what I could clearly tell you made it because you love this shit. I, I'm sold. Whoever made this, you get a big holy, high five. Holy fire! You had your chance. And you gents. Open fire. Open for it. Of course he's bulletproof. He's a fucking hell demon. Got a cool ass motorcycle. Look at him. He's got a cool ass flying fucking motorcycle. What are you and your jeans gonna do with his cool to his cool ass motorcycle? Nothing. Oh, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Nine out of one hundred out of one hundred. Wood Dominator again. AV Pictures! Okay, I think this Ranga Media Group. Okay. Yes, yes. I think this will get us copyrighted, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Mirror Mask? Really? Huh. Based on the hit, I've never heard of this manga before, but now I'm going to have to read it. Dominator X. He, <laughs> yes, look at him fucking shred, chat. Dominator is so cool. So goddamn cool. This is so goddamn cool, chat. This is... 14-year-old me would have eaten this shit up so, so much. 14-year-old me would have eaten this shit up so much. Then, as I got older, I would have found it a... Oh, okay. It, he has a penis gun. He just has a penis gun. I love you, Dominator franchise and Ringa Media. Now uh, there she is with her titty horn laser nipples. And, oh. Well, I now I know I need to read the manga of this chat. I know D Doug Bradley, of course. Doug fucking Bradley was in this. He's cool like that, chat. Well, I need to find Dominator manga so that if Doug, Br if I ever meet Doug Bradley in the flesh prison that is the flesh reality, I can get him to sign this shit. And you'll go, ah, I remember Dominator. Most people go for Hellraiser, but you, you went for Dominator and Archangel Thunderbird. Eh. Okay, then. Well, I'm sold on Dominator being the coolest motherfucker on this or any other planet. You, you can't lie to me, Chet. Okay, this is the one that I'm absolutely afraid of getting copyright struck, so, um... Yeah. I have my... I am the sum of all evil. Okay. My oh, shit! It's the green ball from the heavy metal movie! Yeah, I love this green motherfucker from the heavy metal movie. I am the Ragnar. This world has provided me with much amusement in the past. It shall do so again. <laughs> yeah, I love the Ragnar. I am worshipped as God. So it shall be here. But first, Heavy metal. I I really should have gotten into heavy metal when I was the magazine, not the musical genre. 
That sounds copyrighted. Danny Filth! <laughs> Julie Strain! <laughs> Tara Harley! Patrick Bregan! Doug fucking Bradley! Yes, 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 I am sold. I know there was a heavy metal video game based upon uh, he the heavy metal magazine for the Dreamcast. I don't remember it being all that great. I must awaken my champion. Awaken the the beast you within you. Escape my grasp, even in death. In life, this one committed untold atrocities. I, I want that tombstone. I want Ted Miller, scum of the universe, on a fucking urn. I want that for all eternity. I want people to remember me as scum of the universe. Oh, Jesus. This is... Chef's kiss. Oh, Chad, I love Dom I, I love this franchise so much. Chad... Chad, I become now, a Dominator fanboy. Oh no! The power of the Ragnar. I'm gonna have to look up Ranga Media now later on and see what else they've done. Yeah, go get him, Tyler. Fuck him up. Go get him, Tyler. Fuck him up. Oh god, he's fucking metal. I love him. Oh look, he's glowing green and metal. Yeah, and he's fucking surfing on a fucking cosmic tombstone. How can I not love this? Oh, it's going faster than light. Oh, Jesus God, I love it. This is art, Chad. Holy shit, yes! <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I need to see that again, Chad. I need to see that again. Yes! <laughs> Sold you, you, I billion dollars. I will find a way to buy the rights to Lord Dominator so I can make a big budget Lord live action remake and get Doug Bradley on board and get the people who made this on board. I don't care how much money it takes. I'm going to find a way to make that happen. I'm going to find a way to make this happen. Yes, 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 yes. He has a secret castle with a fucking satellite dish near a graveyard! How have I never known about this? Why has no one ever told me about this? Holy God, it's beautiful. Holy God, it's beautiful. And sadly, I think this is gonna get me copyright struck, but oh, look at him shred on his fucking guitar! Look at him shred! Yeah. And of course, the skulls and the enough light. Enough is bloody enough. I thought, with everybody else away, I'd have a bit of peace to study my books of magic. I can't hear myself think. Give me a break, Doc. I need my music. I thought sex was your major motivation. <sighs> It's right up there, but even an exiled demon can't be shaking all of the time. I don't know if this is ironic, and I don't care. Did you catch what they were saying on the news? It seems that all across the globe, superheroes have disappeared. Nobody knows what has happened to them, and nobody knows where they have gone. Whole cities lie in waste and ruin with no one to protect them. I know what I must do with my life now. I need I need to get enough money to buy the rights to Lord Dominator so that I can make a big action version of it. Are we next? Yeah, get him oh, 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 slow your horses. You can't just do this to me. You can't just tickle my butthole and call me Charlie without buying me dinner first. I'm a classy broad. I'm a classy broad. You can't just tickle my butthole and call me Charlie.
After them, are we next? Y yeah, you can't just tickle my butthole and call me Charlie. I'm a classy broad. I'm Dark Tyler, deceased standard. I am dark. <laughs> dark. Uh, okay, I want to make sure I heard that correctly. I want to make sure I heard this correctly. I'm Dark Tyler. He is Dark Tyler. He rides a fucking intergalactic coffin at the speed of faster than light. He has a skull on his head. Oh. Deceased and recently undeceased. I'm taking over this planet. Heroes are surplus to my requirements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking metal. No point resistant. I got the evil of the whole universe on my side. You want to lighten up a little, friend? Yeah, Doug Bradley! Shoot your magic laser hands! <laughs> yes. Chat, this is going at a million miles per hour. This is what it feels like to watch TikTok as a 36-year-old. This is what it's like. Oh, I'm I'm so afraid of the copyright. Man, and, uh, yeah! Gratuitous Japanese! Yeah! Hit Big Ben again! Get Fucked, Tyler. Booty. Yes, booty. Mistress Jimmy, message for you. Beat it. I'm sleeping. Tempest Prime reports the Ragnarok is attacking planet Earth. Boring. Say you couldn't wake me. Tempest Prime reports the Ragnarok has reincarnated Dark Tyler. Tyler! Dark Tyler! That murdering piece of dreck! I took the liberty of preparing your battle armor. I don't care if this gets me in trouble. Whatever, man. This, yes. I know she's from the Heavy Metal uh, magazine, uh, but I never really read Heavy Metal, and I should have back in the day. You know, French Euro comics and whatnot. I really should have, though. This stream is going to be so copyrighted. <laughs> perfection. Utter perfection. Like, I have... So, oh, look at this chat. Just, I want you to look at this and tell me you, this isn't cool. Like, you wouldn't... You, you, you'd have to be have some kind of cynicism to not think this is a little bit this stupid and cool. Bitch. Like, this is so fucking earnest in its heavy metal sensibilities that I can't help but love it yet. It's like someone from the early, like, Dominator and uh, Archangel Thunderbird, and I, I've said this before, it really feels like someone decided in the early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, to give a 14-year-old Unlimited creative caveat. And this 14-year-old loved anime, fucking heavy metal, and video games. And this is what they created. And I mean that in the nicest and best way possible. Because this... This is just... I don't care if it's being a little, like, tongue-in-cheek. If it is, whatever. It's so... It's so fun. Like, it's so of... It's just, it captures a vibe, a mood that I feel like has been ultimately ruined, ultimately destroyed by um, sort of modern, cynical sensibilities.
Like, th this kind of thing just would be ruined by modern sensibilities. Like, I don't know, man. I, I feel like we've lost something along the way as a society if we can't make art that's kind of also a little fucking puerile and a little, a little like, just, you know, just immature for the sake of a laugh. Immature for funsies. Or immature because you felt like it making it, you know? Like, not everything needs to be nuanced and complex and mature and... You know, sometimes you just want big fucking dudes and metal and anime and lasers and shit, man. Sometimes you gotta embrace the stupidity. Or at least that's what I think. And Like, this is great. But sadly, I think I'm gonna get all sorts of... This This might be a, a, a bit shoot exclusive stream because... I am that afraid of the the uh, bu -bu 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 copyright man and his copyright Looks plan. Like, look how Rob Liefeld, '90s fucking yeah, middle street. Like, this is like these designs are awful. Like, these designs are terrible, but they are so committed to it. They are so committed to this sort of. 90s ass aesthetic comic book aesthetic that I can't help but feel like a genuine passion in it a genuine like you you can't tell me someone the people who didn't make these did not love these things like like they loved they loved this they loved making this even though it looks very cheap and low budget I don't know, man. Maybe I'm because I'm from the '90s, and I, you know, I remember '90s comic trends and this kind of awful art design. Because let's be honest, this design is real. It, it's kind of, it's kind of very '90s. But I love the '90sness of it. I can't explain it. Like these designs are very indicative of the era I believe they came from, and ultimately. I think it works within this universe because everything is so wonderfully and tactably designed this way that it feels good on purpose, right? Like, these are good examples of what I think sort of overly designed 90s ass aesthetic can be. <laughs> yeah! Like, this, this, this shit is beautiful. Mainly because it just... It feels so, so goddamn metal. Like, these designs work for the metal that they're trying to comprehend. Like, this is for me. Every kind of design trope and every kind of design flourish ultimately has a style and a thing that they're trying to go for, a vibe. We're getting into artistic TED Talk design. I'm sorry, I apologize greatly on behalf of me. But um, ultimately, I feel like it comes down to what you're attempting to do with the design, what is the purpose, and how are you creating this design flourishy, flourishes and whatnot. And I feel like this 90s-ass heavy metal uh, anime bullshit is kind of endearing in my home life. Time to play catch up before I kill you. I don't know, man. This, this, this kind of design flourishes works really good for metal, I think. Um, you're all getting Strong for any one of us. Together. Maybe it's nostalgia talking, or maybe it's the era that I grew up in, or maybe it's this this earnestness, this overall this dedication to what they are attempting to do here ultimately feels good. It's fucking great, chat. Like, you can't tell me that this isn't art. Like, if you showed this to me and went, this is not art, this has no passion, this has no soul, I'd be like, fuck you, buddy. You clearly don't know what fun is. You clearly don't know what fun is. The Ragnar, essence of all evil. Fools, you cannot stand against me. I think she's going to stand against you with a fat-ass drum solos. Yeah. 
Ah oh, yes, just shoot evil in its brain. I'm sorry, but you can't convince me that that isn't wonderful. Yeah, like, fuck it, I'm just gonna shoot evil in its brain. What are you gonna do about it? The lack of... Just, it's brilliant, chat. Well, Ranga Media, whoever you are, whoever you made this for, just, just know, I think I love you. I think I love you. Right then, who fancies a drink? Tempest Prime's probably got another job for me, but hey, why not? <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds... Tony Luke, Alan Grant, great job. Yeah, Kevin Eastman, Tony Luke, Dan Woods, James Langdon... Dominator X, of course. UK Film Council. Well, that was wonderful. I'm glad I saw it, Chet. I'm going to take a small BRB and we're going to get to some other things. So, yeah. Uh... It really means a lot to me. Now you come to these streams, chat. So I don't know what else we can, um, what we can uh, react to is the problem. Uh, that was all that I had planned for reacting. But I want to do more react anti things. You know what? Let's just look up what Rianga Media here is. Um, see if they're up to anything. Since we've just done everything here, okay. <clears throat> Ranga Media, or Ranga Studios, is a British multimedia animation co company located in Brighton. It was established in 1985 and is run by its creator, Tony Luke, along with his uh, producers, Simon Moorhead and Doug Bradley. Partners include Alan Grant, Yashui Narasawa, and Jim Bath Brathwaite? 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Have the success of Dominator from the... Okay. Luke returned to the Dominator currently. Despite different views on multiple land audiences, Dominator was success in sequels fold. Some brief history of how heavy metal fact to uh huh Dominator, which was presented in the Lord of the Rings when this point Dominator than the man and asked Mirror Max producer Simon Moore had to come on board to oversee Mirror and the extending Mirror Mask and then the script Neil Gaiman and the Sony Pictures think up and 
In 2003, Luke was given eight months. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. The guy who created Dominator is dead. Well, now to buy his studio and resurrect it and get Doug Bradley on board and get Mirror Mask involved again because fuck it, Mirror Mask was also an, a show, I, a thing I watched back in the day and I had no idea any of the people who were involved were involved in this. Chat. Tony Luke. Wherever you are. I don't know who owns the rights to this shit. Probably Tony Luke State. Well... I am. I'm here, man. Uh, let me get something to look us up here. Let me get something to look us up here. What can we react to? What react Andy thing can I get up to, chat? I remember Heavy Metal 2000 back in the day, if you remember that. Congratulations. Let's, let's react to this. Who the fuck are you people that are hard Georgians? <laughs> it's the accent that gets me, Chad. Oh, I get that. I get it. It's funny. I get it. It's funny. I get it. I get it, Chad. It's funny. Because they're boxers. The Boxer Rebellion. It's funny, Chad. Vive la Florence! Nihongo wa hanasemasen! Who the fuck are you people? I thought I hired boxers. No, no, it's it's funny. Well now, I'm react dandying for sure now. I I got nothing. This stream might be uh, the most copyrighted stream in human history. I got nothing funny. Well, let's call it a day then, shall we? Let's call it a day, shall we? Right here in my React Andy stream. Lord Dominator is the perfect example of good 90s cheese. And I mean that in the, in a, in a, the most polite and kind way. I'm not being an asshole. That D Dominator in this kind of franchise is so dedicated to what it does it, it it's I, I can't help but love it I can't help but go th this is metal I fucking love it what what am I I'm, I'm not made out of steel I'm not made out of I am made out of flesh and bone like every other man on this earth and if you showed me art true pure art like what 
what do you want from me? So I'm going to get us something to sign us off on, and I'm going to say thank you for coming. It means the world to me that people come to these streams, even if it's just one or two, three people. You can s look at the poll. You can vote on it. Or not. You have until Monday. Uh, let's see. I'd like to thank the fine people of Madagascar for sponsoring the stream. No, Madagascar does not actually sponsor these streams, Jet. Yet again, I'd like to thank you. Tomorrow... Problem, maybe Balaltro, maybe uh, more Mario Maker. Who knows? Goodbye, Joe.